Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'll be showing you my week 4 of raising Cornish crossers. This week we saw an explosion of growth and we also had our fair share of difficulties. The hens started eating a lot more feed, which resulted in me coming out to check on them and finding their feed are completely empty. You can see here, after I filled their feeder up, all the hens came rushing to the feeder and started guzzling feed. So this is the closest we came to having another casualty. I came out to check on the hens and I found a chicken stuck in the feeder. I think it might die right here. Yeah, it does slide open. God, it's stupid. Ooh, it looks fucked up. It does. Look at its neck. Yeah. Looks smaller than the other ones, too. I don't, know, I don't even know how long I was in there for. When was the last time you checked? <laughs> Yesterday. It's walking. Yeah. That also means they've been without food. So the hens had ate all their food and the feeder was empty. So this hen decided to jump into the feeder to try to get some more food. My mistake for letting the feeder get completely empty. My routine has been to check on the chickens once a day, but now since they're eating so much, I'm gonna have to check on them twice a day. Ultimately, the chicken that decided to jump into the feeder ended up being okay. We had non-stop rain recently and I didn't think the chickens had enough feathers to go outside just in case they were to get wet from the rain. But the rain had stopped and the forecast was clear, and the chickens were now big enough and had enough feathers to go outside into the coop. We currently have three egg layers and only one coop, so I'm gonna have to integrate my meat chickens in with my egg layers. I'm currently moving the egg layers food over to the other side of the coop, but when I move the Cornish crossers in here, they'll be able to have separate food. I'm getting some fresh wood chips as bedding, so both chickens have a new fresh ground to lay on. If mixing two flocks, there always is the chance of disease, so I think a fresh bedding down is probably best for both groups of chickens. It also gives the chickens new ground to scratch around in. So here's the coop with fresh wood chips. I think the chickens really enjoyed it and liked their new fresh bedding. So now I'm bringing the Cornish Crossers food and water over from the shed and into the new outdoor coop. I drilled a screw into the top of the coop here. That way I could hang the food and water off the ground of the coop, which helps prevent rats from getting in and eating the food. For the inside walls, I'm using this scrap plastic fencing material that I found laying in the shed. This will help keep the chickens separate but they'll be able to interact and maybe slowly integrate together. I'm using a staple gun to fasten it to the inside post of the coop. Now just a little more wood chips so I can barricade this at the lower end of the fence to make sure the chickens don't dig underneath. Alright, the coop modifications are all done now. Each chickens have their own separate feeder and water on each side of the fence, and they're separated by this plastic fencing material. This is my fence latch so I can get inside of this area to change the Cornish Crossers food and water. The egg layers are loving their new wood chips. Now it's time to see if the Cornish Crossers like their new home. Alright, 
about to go check on the chickens after their first night in the coop overnight. Hopefully they made it, see how they're doing. All right, chickens are doing good after one night. No casualties, the banding hen got over into the other side with the meat hens, which is pretty funny. I just let the egg layers out today to give each of the chickens a little bit more space. But I'm gonna take the weight here of one of the meat chickens, see what we're doing compared to last week. Got my scale all ready and set up. So I'm gonna get a hen and see what the weight's looking like. All right, caught this one here. Three point nine, three pounds, nine ounces. So the Cornish crossers grew about two pounds from last week. That's just amazing growth for one week. Really excited to see how the hens do outside in the coop here now. Hopefully they can get along with the egg layers. We do have some rain forecasted, so hopefully I can keep the Cornish crossers dry and happy out here. We got the meat chickens moved out into the coop here. They're outside. They're integrated with the egg layers with the barrier, of course. Maybe down the line, we'll be able to take that barrier down and mix them, but I don't think so. One of our Rhode Island Reds was pretty angry and upset when we put the meat chickens in there. So, looking forward to this week. Hopefully we get some more growth. We're, lo we're looking on that one chicken, uh, three pounds, nine ounces. So, we got a ways to go, but they're eating a lot more food now. So, I think that the growth is gonna explode and really be exponential this next coming weeks. So, stay tuned for more videos and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.